Hey there folks, today I am bringing you an Ubers battle against Ozbat, who I met through the Pokemon Showdown Wi-Fi room, which is sur a, su a surprisingly good place to look for Wi-Fi battles. Um, I can't remember whether he was looking for a, a, an Ubers battle or he responded to one of my battle requests. I think it was the former, but you know, don't quote me on that. Either way, I was just really glad to get the match because I just don't have enough Ubers in my life. And I really need more Ubers matches in my life. So, looking at his team, Darkrai is the preeminent threat. Um, and I'm trying to decide how I want to deal with it. Mewtwo is Mewtwo Y and does get Insomnia when it Mega Evolves. But I can't remember uh, who outspeeds whom. Um, and certainly I don't get outsped until I Mega Evolve. Um, so I lead off with Klefki to use as Dark Void fodder, and also thinking that I can do something useful before I get put to sleep. I went for the Thunder Wave because I didn't want to go for the Spikes because he's got this Gliscor here, and Gliscors always run the Defog, pretty much always. So I switch out here and make a really weird and questionable play as I switch out into Fermi, my um, my Ditto, and this was a really stupid move, but it actually ended up working out really well. Not just because he used Earthquake, but because I actually got to see his move set. And you know what I saw? I saw that he didn't carry the Defog. He carried four moves that were not Defog. And that was that was great to know, because it means that I can set up my uh, spikes at a later date just fine. So now I got onto Mewtwo as he switches out into Dragonite. Uh, Dragonite is no better of a Pokemon for him to have out than Mewtwo is, but I actually think that... Um, so a lot of these things carry weakness policy, and Ice Beam might not have KO'd, might not have cleanly KO'd, I'll put up the calcs. But um, I decided to switch out into Klefki, he went for the Dragon Pulse, uh, so that worked out well. And here he makes probably the most questionable move of the match, going out into Chansey, because Chansey can't do anything to me. It's not like Blissey, where there's, um, there's Flamethrower that can do a decent chunk of damage. But I'm just going to set up on him, I'm going to set up my Spikes, because I don't see any of his other Pokemon having uh, Defog or obviously not Rapid Spin. Yeah, so the best he can do to me is Seismic Toss, and I'm going to be able to set up all three rounds of my Spikes before he can come even close to taking me out. So now I've got all three layers of Spikes up on the field, and this is really great. He Toxics, either that was a misclick or he was thinking I was going to switch out, but why would I switch out? I think he was thinking I might, might want to switch out into my Giratina. Um, so here I make a switch that uh, only makes sense in the... So I go out into uh, Einstein, my Dialga, and you might think, but it's Chansey, you can't do anything to him. It's like, I'm not trying to do anything to him. I He's giving me the chance to set up on him, and I'm going to take that chance. By set up on him, I mean set up my entry hazards. Um, and, you know, I'm not running... A, this isn't a stall team, it's... I'm actually not sure how I would classify this team that I run. But uh, certainly, lots of hazards on the field is really good. So the way he sent out this Gliscor, I really would have thought that he'd be running Defog if I didn't know that he wasn't running Defog. Um, so, yeah, so I'm, I've gotten up all four layers of spikes, and I'm, uh, of haz hazards rather, and I'm thinking that he's probably going to go for EQ. And so he goes out, he actually switches out into Darkrai here. As I go ahead and, um, I go ahead, I believe, and switch out into, yes, I do go ahead and switch out into um, my Giratina O. That was, took um, both hazards, so that's why it took so long to do the switch. Um, so here, we're obviously going to want to switch out. I need to choose my Sleep Fodder, and it is going to be Niels Bohr. I've gotten up my hazards. What more do I really want? I mean, yeah, it would be nice if I were able to put some, uh, you know, paralyze some things, maybe toxic some other things, but I'm, I'm perfectly content with uh, having this thing be Sleep Fodder. So, um, Niels Bohr is asleep. But now he can't put anything else to sleep by smog on rules. Yeah, I'm really glad. So I know that Uber's considered doing away with Sleep Claws at one point, and that would have just been so awful. It really would have been, because Darkrai would have just run rampant throughout the tier. Um, and you would have been forced to run, like, Vital Spirit stuff that's really bad. So I go now on to Xerneas, um, because I don't think he can do anything to me. And he shows me he's physical with the Swords Dance. I'm like thinking... Okay, what moves does this thing run that would be scary? And he goes for the Dark Void here, and he said, oh my god, that was a complete misclick. He was so sorry, but it didn't matter because it missed. Um, so it's like the game was enforcing sleep pause. Uh, that was really funny. Uh, but, you know, that misclick was decent. I, I think he told me what his other two moves were, and like it was some dark move, and then I think like Brick Break. So neither of those would have been um, a good move against 
Miser Aeneas. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out here because um, Chansey does wall me. And I, I think that he's going to go for the Seismic Toss. And indeed he does, so I got the free switch out into Duroc. And now I'm thinking he's going to go for the, uh, for the Toxic. So I'm going to get myself behind the sub. And indeed he did go for the Toxic. So this is going really well so far. Um, he's going to go ahead and withdraw Chansey. And now he's going to go out into Gliscor. Now keep in mind, I know his set, and his only attacking move is Earthquake. Um, the other moves, I believe, are Roost, Protect, and Toxic. So I'm behind a sub, and he can't do any hit. He can't do anything to me. And so I'm like, well, why did you do this? This doesn't make any sense. And then I realized, oh wait, what he can do is he can stall out my Outrages because Outrage isn't going to kill him. Um, I think Outrage does like 40%, so he can just Roost slash Protect, uh, and then I'll start hitting myself with the Confusion and I'll be forced to switch out. So, he unfortunately didn't realize this and he switched out himself. Um, he goes out into, he went out into his Arceus Fairy. Um, I go ahead and Shadow Sneak. It does a decent chunk, actually, um, but unfortunately this Arceus Fairy does have the Recover, and uh, I'm not, since I'm not doing over 50%, there's really not much I can do. Um, I'm thinking I'm, I'm probably just still going to stay in and wait for him to break my sub. Um, because I don't... Well, actually, no. I think that he might be he might try to set up on me. If he has Calm Mind, for instance, I really could be screwed. So I go now out into Einstein, who is my Dialga. And uh, I don't really want to take judgments from this guy, but... Uh, I... I was thinking I could it would be a two hit KO, and indeed it does look like it's going to be two hit KO. Now I have the flash cannon. I don't think flash cannon's going to. I mean, Arceus is bulky, and um, the way he's playing with the set, I'm thinking it's running a more bulky set, probably a bit of investment in some sort of defensive stat. Um, actually, I have no reason to believe that based on how he's using it. Anyway, he survives on just a sliver of HP. He doesn't actually. The thing about Arceus is that. It doesn't actually need any defense investment to be bulky, because 120, 120 is incredibly good. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and take me out with another judgment, but his health is down so low that it will be really easy to revenge kill. So um, Dialga goes down, and here I make um, a bit of a question. I think the better switch here would have been... No, no, I was going to say the better switch would have been into Giratina and just go for the Shadow Sneak. But Mewtwo outspeeds, no problem, and I will be able to take this thing out um, at that range of health, so it's not really a problem. And then I'm in a good position for the rest of his team, um, except for Chansey, I figure. So aside from Chansey, you know, I think you know everyone on his team. I'm pretty sure I can deal with. Depends on what what kind of Mewtwo that Mewtwo is. Everyone runs Mewtwo X though instead of Mewtwo Y. I don't understand why. Mewtwo Y is the vastly superior choice. <clears throat> So um, I'm thinking that if he's Mewtwo X, um, he's probably going to stay in Mewtwo form, um, because why would you transform yourself into something that is that no longer resists Psy Strike? But he is Mewtwo X, and he goes for the he uh, Mega evolves into Mewtwo X, and I, I just don't understand that move at all. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't. Uh, so I go for the Psy Strike, and that is going to easily take him out, um, because those four rounds of hazards really are helping me. They're really, really helping me. And so now I'm just going to be Chansey. I'm thinking, okay, well, now he's going to wall me. But then I see, oh, yeah, I forgot about the hazards. Now he's down really low, and uh, Psy Strike is going to take him out. And so the, his final two Pokemon are weak to ice, uh, and this is a good game. I mean, this is definitely, definitely a good game. Um, and I'm going to, this is going to be a body bag. Uh, so now it is Gliscor. I don't have anything to fear from this Gliscor. I go for the Ice Beam. It's 4x effective. Even if he'd protected and gotten up to full, full health, it wouldn't have saved him. Uh, and so that's a dead Gliscor. Uh, and his last is Dragonite. And Dragonite, I think, maybe could have taken an Ice Beam. I'll put up the, uh, the calc in the annotation. Except for that multi-scale is now broken thanks to the rocks that I set up. So I'm glad I set up those rocks. So Dragonite is going to go down, and this was a bona fide Mega Mewtwo Y sweep. I hope you folks enjoyed this for my seven to the second battle, my seven squared battle, um, AK 49. Uh, but yeah, whatever. Hope you folks enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, and I will see you all next time.